Hi guys, I'm Greg from Basic G Dot. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you can see right now, I'm docked at Whirling Station at uh, Ogmar at the Ogmar system in the uh, Colonia bubble. So yeah, so I finally made it to uh, Colonia, as you can see. I'll show you on the um, on the map. You can see where I am. There we are. You can see it's quite a long way. You can't actually see the bubble there, but it's quite a long way from the uh, the main bubble. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm Dr. Ogmar. Um, so yeah, so the, the goal of this video basically is to show you guys how to unlock Etienne Dawn. So the engineer Etienne Dawn. So here we go, we go into the engineers and I'll show you. So I've already done it by the way, but I'll show you how to do it in this video. So as you can see, it says here, you fulfilled your initial contract by delivering 25 occupied escape pods. Um, so you have to provide this guy with that, um, with those escape pods in order to unlock him. So it's it's quite a lot, and it's you think, well, you know, how the hell am I going to get 25 occupied escape pods? But there is actually a pretty easy and straightforward way of doing it, and um, that's the, the the old idea of this video is to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go back. Now, the reason I came to uh, Whirling Station at Og in the Ogmar system is because this particular station, I can get everything I need to be able to get the occupied escape pods. I tried doing it at Colonia, and you couldn't get everything you needed at one station. You had to go to two different ones. And I thought, well, let's try out Ogmar and see if they're, if they're better supplied. They're better provided, and they, they just so happen that they are. So, let's go to Starport Services. And I'll show you. So you go into outfitting. I'm already in that. And I'll show you what you need. So at the moment this is empty because I've put it into storage. But um, I'll show you. Um, let's browse shop. Cargo racks. And. Oh. I don't know why that's saying that. That's really strange. Because it says it'll exceed my, my mass, and yet I can transfer this one in. So work that one. Well, transfer unavailable, unavailable. So why is my mass... Why is it saying that? Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I bought um, a 3A hatchbreaker limpet, which has 5 tonne mass. So there you go. So let's change that back to what I had originally, which was this one here. Exchange. And now... I should. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Just that simple thing. So there you go. So I, I could buy that now. I don't need to. Um, I've got one that I can transfer in there already, which I've already used. So I'll do that. Transfer that in. You can see that's in there now. And two other things you need, as, you, as all you've already seen, you need a hatchbreak Olympic controller and a, Kalimp uh, a collector Olympic controller as well. Um, so the hatchbreaker is basically, we'll be going to Luctane. So the system Luctane, I'll show you where that is. Galaxy map. So you can just about see it in the background there. If I click on that, that's where we're going to. Um, there is an engineer here, but we're not actually going to see this one. We're going to uh, see uh, Sen Dawn. He's at a different system, but um, yes, yeah, so this is where we're going to. So I'll show you how to get the occupied escape pods. So we're going to advanced maintenance, restock, and we'll stock up on some limpets. So I'm just going to get, I'll just get ten. Because all I need to do is just show you how to do this. You can get as many limpets as you like. I, I would suggest maybe around 25 or 30 should be more than adequate for what you need. We'll buy those. There we go. Okay. So let's select Luctane. Blink. I always clicked, click the plot route thing. It's a habit, I suppose. It's where I've done. Lots of um, long range exploration or long range distances. I, I just get into a habit of doing that. I guess I just like to see a nice orange line going straight to the place I'm going to. But hey ho. Exit. And let's launch. Thank you. 
people are away from the station. Wait until we're no longer mass locked. I must say I'm so glad I'm doing this video because when I went on YouTube to see if I could find tutorials, they're not very clear. It was quite difficult to get information on how to do this, so it's good to do a nice, simple, basic um, tutorial that I'm trying to be as clear as possible so people can understand how to do this. So here we go, let's jump. So here we are. So, first of all, I'll slow down because I don't want to go racing off into the void. That'll do. So, the thing I'll need to select. We, um, there you go. Distress call. Select. That's where we need to go. So, let's get it into my radar. Don't want to fly into the sun, so let's fly past that. Here we go. We fly to the distress call. Yeah, if you do get that blue mission identified signal source, just ignore it. Because as far as I'm aware, that will probably be just a trading um, opportunity. And to be fair, I don't really need to do any more trading. So, oh, coming in a bit too quickly. So let's fly away, that's it. just speed up towards the end. You can do that quite safely. So here we are. Slow down. And this is the ship. This is where we get the occupied es um, escape pods. So first of all, you need to scan this. If it will do it. Hang on a minute. I probably need to target. Yes, target it. That's the first thing you do. And we'll back up slightly. And then we need to find the escape hatch. So let's go into contacts. So there's the escape hatch. But before we do anything, there's something important I wanted to show. Just give me a second, let's zero that. So before I do anything, I'll deselect anything that's of no use to me. 
because what will happen is when I deploy my um, collector limpets it will go and pick up all the other stuff as well as the um, so you can see they've all been dis I've because I've already been here I've already added this stuff to my um, ignore list already so but as I say, I, said, I strongly advise anybody that comes here, just anything that's floating around, just go onto your, um, your ignore list and just um, select ignore for anything that you can, apart from, obviously, the occupied escape pods. So let's go to escape hatch 3. We'll float over to there. I'll put on my night vision just to make life a bit easier. Alright, it makes everything... It's blue or green. I think it's green. Makes everything green, but at least I can see it. So now I need to fly up to this. I think it's within 300 meters, 250, something like that. There we go. I think it's 350 meters, and then we scan that. That's it. Once we've done that, we go into contacts target limpet docking port so you need to go into your sub targets and target the limpet docking point point doink there you go and then we select hatch breaker limpet and fire one off Programming limpet drone. one is enough hatch breaker limpet expired. okay he didn't like that I think what it is is the escape hatch is on the other side so I thought that was the escape hatch there. So it's actually on the other side. So what I'll do... There we go. Yes, I was right. It was a little bit um, deceptive, that was. So, yeah. so we'll do that. Go down. Across a bit. That's it, that'll do. And we'll fly up to that. Nice and slowly. And we'll try again. <laughs> Luckily I've got plenty of limpets, so it's not a problem. There we go. That's near enough. Programming limpet drone. There we go. Limpet engaged. Yeah, so <laughs> note well. Um make sure you're the correct side of the ship when you deploy your hatchbreaker limpet. Otherwise you do what I've just did there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll deploy my cargo scoop and I'll select collectors. There you go. So we should have a load of um, occupied. Well, there's a few there, which is fine. So we'll deploy a collector. Get a little bit closer. Hopefully. There we go, there's one. And another. There you go, that's two straight off. And I think there may be one more, unless it's trapped in the door. Yeah, sometimes what happens is they get, you'll get, um, there you go, you'll get one that will get trapped in the door. Oh, I'm come in. So you can see, look, it's trapped in the door. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. But I've got two of them, so that's great. So what I'll do is I shall select Escape Hatch 3, go to Target, Limpid Docking Point, and we try again. Collector is still out there somewhere. I hope he's not trying to collect anything else. No. So 
So it looks like my collector's off somewhere doing something else. So I'll fire my other one off and see if it'll collect some of these um, escape pods. So let's have a look. How many is there? Well, we've got a few there. That's fine. So it looks like another one is caught in the door. <laughs> but that's fine. I'll just fire enough off another um, hatch breaker. So he's trying to collect one of those from the door. <laughs> it's really weird. It won't come back to my ship. It will just fly around. <laughs> Target dropped. Okay, let's see if it will collect some of these. There's another one. So how many have we got so far? Oh, well, we got four. So it can take a little while, but... It's a lot easier to get them like this than it is to try and find them in open space or find them on planets. I mean, you can come here and they're there. They're right there in front of you. All you've got to do is collect them. So, another one there. Let's see if he'll get another one. No, it flew straight into the ship. <laughs> okay, so... Yep, that one's buried in the door. That one's trapped in the door as well. So we'll forget that. Escape hatch three. Target the... Um, hatch breaker port, and then fire again. So it's basically rinse and repeat. Just fire off the hatch breaker. If you can get a few escape pods come out, you can go and collect. You can uh, collect them with your collectors. Um, failing that, you can actually fly up to them and collect them manually with your ship. So there we go. What I'm going to do is fire off. Let's have a look. Have we got many there. Oh, we got a few. So I'm going to fire off another collector. Doink. See if I can get a couple more. Because I've no doubt there'll be a couple that are trapped in the door still. Oh, there's one. Can I get another one? Yep, there we go, that's another one. And there may be one more. We'll see. No, nope. <laughs> it went for the one in the doorway again. So these are all damaged. But that's fine. It's not a problem. So yeah, so there you go. I mean, that's it's as easy as that, really. I mean, there's nine I've got there. Um, now, I've only got two limpets left. Um, so yes, obviously, it would pay to get 25 or 30. Um, let's just deselect that. That's it. It would pay to get 25 to 30 limpets in order to ensure that you get the 25, but it really is as simple as that. And obviously, once you've got that, then you can target loss. Um, let's go into this. And you can go to Etienne Dawn. And there he is. And it's only 31 light years away. You can go there and give him his occupied escape pods. <laughs> I've no idea what he plans to do with them. But... Uh, he needs them, or you have to give him that in order to uh, get him to do the engineer on your sh engineering on your ship. So it's just the way the game is. 
so yes yeah, so uh, I'll leave it there guys that was just a, a simple tutorial just how to get hold of occupied escape pods I hope it's of some help to you guys um, but otherwise I shall leave it there um, if you happen to enjoy my content then please feel free to like or even possibly subscribe to my channel it would be very much appreciated um, but otherwise I shall see you guys again soon okay so bye bye for now